Hi, I'm Barry Kelso, station intern. The following clips were personally collected from shows that aired this week on Jonathanville, Arkansas's public access television station. Please enjoy. I made a gun rack out of beer cans. I made a cool hat out of a dry potty. I made a paper mache bust for my dog, Queefer. And I made macaroni. Pull! Skeets and crafts! Skeets and crafts! Now don't forget to sign up for their Bedazzle and Boom workshop at the Jonathanville Community Center, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. There's also a comedy class there, taught by the host of this next show. Five, six, one, two. Please help me welcome our first guest tonight. <laughs> this is a very special guest, it's dear to my heart. We used to do a lot of different shows. We'd tour town to town between two small towns. And I haven't seen him in a lot of years, but <laughs> He's one of my closest friends. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Skinny Mike! <laughs> Let me tell y'all what happened, man. I lost my voice the other day, right? Oh, no. Here it comes. I told my wife, I said, yo, baby, I done lost my voice. You know what this woman says to me? Oh, what she say, Skinny? Where's the last place you had it? <laughs> Y'all know how Skinny Mike do, man. I looked her right in the eye and I said, why don't you check that ass? <laughs> Y'all know, man. Skinny Mike don't just eat but I greet but. <laughs> I be screaming at that salad before I toss it. <laughs> What's up, croutons? <laughs> Hey, that's true. <laughs> Y'all know, man. I did lose my voice, though. That's real. I told my doctor, I said, yo, doc, I done lost my voice, man. Oh, what did he say? You know what this man says to me? You might have throat cancer. Y'all know how skinny Mike do, man. <laughs> I looked him right in the eye and I said, why don't you check that ass? <laughs> hey. <laughs> got he it. did. The cancer has spread from my throat to my prostate. I got three weeks to live, y'all. <laughs> she eat my body up like, ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, man, I've been skinny Mike, man. Thank y'all so much, man. Hey, hey, Skinny Mike, y'all, this is for Skinny, dude. Hey, hey, don't worry about the mic, man. Hey, don't. Hey, you probably too weak to handle this. Come on. Twitch. Hey, dude, you had us cracking up, man. And then he, hey, dude, and then you said that cancer stuff. We was like, what? what, what? Yeah. <laughs> dude, that was great, man. Yeah, it's not too funny, but I'm trying to make it work, you know. So that's, that is real. That's yeah, real. that's real. Three weeks in. That's a conservative estimate. Cancer makes you die. Mm-hmm. Don't end up like skinny, y'all. Dang. Take care of yourselves and make sure you watch every episode of our health advice show, Folk Remedies is Joke Remedies. Also, check this out. The annual Jonathan County Donkey Chili Cook-Off is turning up the heat this year with more donkey meat. That's right. This year, the stakes are even higher. Donkey stakes, that is. Because this year's winner will be walking away with a brand new deep freezer full of dead donkey meat. Courtesy of Chip Refrigeration and the Jonathan Animal Hospital. Sign-ups open this Thursday at my uncle's garage. All participants must provide their own heat source, cooking utensils, and donkeys. One to ride while cooking, and one to slaughter for meat. A little donkey never hurt anybody, but a lot can make you full of dead donkey meat. So join us this Father's Day Just south of town in the big field Next to the rundown cotton mill by the train tracks This message 
Brought to you by the mayor. Jonathanville Public Access is proud to sponsor this year's cook-off, as well as this year's Pam Slathers Gravy Day Parade. By the way, the route begins at Old Scrotum's Country Club, where Mr. Walters did this week's episode of Jonathanville Tours. God damn, is that a perfect segue or what? Play the clip, me! Hi, I'm Barry Walters, town historian, and I'll be giving this week's Jonathanville Tour of Old Scrotum's Country Club. Come on. Old Scrotum's is a vacation, golf, swimming, fishing, and hunting resort. Old Scrotum's opened its doors just before the appeal of Prohibition and the Red Possum Fever Scare. It used to be 18 holes, now it's only 15, since the last three holes sunk due to the collapsation of the universe. Old Scrotum's also has a fully functioning, fully stocked bar where they make their signature drink the Dingling Milkman, which I've never tried, but I'm gonna make it for you today. It's two parts Drambuie, one part Hypnotic, and four parts Horchata. And that's it for this week's edition of Jonathanville Tours. Y'all come on back now and see us. Cheers. Oh yuck. You know, some problems in the world are too big for alcohol or a person to solve. Like how the major pharmaceutical companies keep destroying the Amazon rainforest. When it comes to problems with household items though, Sam Dudley Obright and Fixin' to Fix It have got you covered. Beth Ann, we got another order right here. How about that? Hi, I'm Sam Dudley Obright, and welcome to Fixin' to Fix It where no problem is too big to fix. Our first letter comes from Maria. She writes, Dear Sam, my ice cube trays keep leaking into my freezer and getting water over the rest of the ice box. Is there any way I can salvage these trays and prevent my freezer from getting stuck together? Please help, Maria. Well, Maria, you're in luck, because I specialize in ice box, ice box repair. And no problem is too big to fix. First thing we're going to need to do is get a hold of that ice cube tray. Why don't you follow me into the shop? We're going to have to take the back way. These stairs is broke. Well, Maria, you do have quite a lot of work to do. But don't you worry, because no problem is too big to fix. First thing first, let's flatten her out. Looks like we're going to need a bigger tool. On to phase three. Why don't you follow me? Now that we've got a good hold on it, let's see how far we can take it. On to phase four. It's peanut butter jelly time. Yep. You know what comes next. I killed my son. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fixed it. Well, looks like no problem is too big to fix. You're welcome, Maria. Thanks for stopping by Fix It to Fix It. I'm Sam Dudley O'Brien. God bless. Look for Sam soon on our daytime courtroom show, Dudge Clem, No NC. I'll wager there'll also be a trial on there about some of the stuff they talked about in a point after touchdown. Here, let me show you. Welcome to Point After Touchdown. I'm Ron L. Point After. Here with me, as always, are my two favorite sports analysts, Britch Rass and Hooter Scotes. And this is my brother, Jeff. Uh, Hooter brought Jeff along to get him out of the house since his wife died so recently. Well, the high school football season is upon us. Opening weekend, and you know what that means. It's time for Hooter's favorite segment. Fumble Rooski, go for Tooski. That's right. Let's dig right in, gentlemen. Let's start with you, Britch. Who do you have for your go for Tooski? Boy, I really like Little Rock Christian and that big tight end they got. Now, that boy is huge. Mm -hmm. Now, he's the kind of guy that can eat a whole cow ass first and shit out nothing but the bones and a half gallon, 2%. <laughs> <laughs> I drank that. <laughs> <laughs> and who do, who do you have as your fumble rooski this week? The Alma Airedales absolutely got their knobs clobbered on Friday night. And I got to tell you, 
I have never seen such a shocking display in my life. And I once saw a man got his penis stuck in a boat motor. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my boat. <laughs> now, Jeff, tell me, who do you have for your fumble rooski and go for Tuski? Fumble Rooski's the bad one, and the Gopher Tuski's the good one. Okay. Uh, Jeff, did you have any time to see any high school football this week before your wife died? If you need help, I can go again. Okay. Uh, no, it's okay. So, uh, Jeff... Um, you can just tell us a name of any high school football team that you thought did well. Or you can tell us a name of a team that didn't do so good. And then that's, that one, the one that didn't do good is your fumble rooski. And then the one that did good is the gopher tooski. Do you? Do you watch high school football? Do you like it? Um, you can tell us any team. Jeff, where did, where did you go to high school? West Forsyth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeff. That, um, that's class 2A. Okay, so we talk about class 4A, 5A, 6A. That was where his wife died. I don't care where his wife died. It's a football show. Yeah, but she she died. She took an extra point to the knock. And that's okay, they don't give out trophies for dead wives. It's my show. And that's all <laughs> the time we have. <laughs>wife died because of a curse from local witch Shadow Cleave. Funny thing is, the boys of Big Spenders were just at Shadow's house trying to sell some of her crazy witch goods. And welcome back to Big Spenders where we help local folks sell their personal wares live. We are in the beautiful home of devout witch and avid gambler Shadow Cleave. But let's get started, right? Well, let's get right to it. Which one are we going to sell first? All right. Not all of them. We're going to start right here. Now, this, I have been eyeing this all evening. And you think I haven't? Now, oh, what my this God. Is. I thought this would be the last thing we sell because it's a big money item, you know? This, back in medieval times, was used in the wardrobe of many witches, and this is a seam ripper. That now, is that, something special. Now, what is holding these spikes together is the hair of dead virgins, okay? Is it really? Absolutely. Shadow, you've been <laughs> naughty. <laughs> How many of you think you'd have to kill to get that much hair? Probably just one. <laughs> so we are asking 900 for 900. this. 900. For this particular item. Man, that is Medieval nice. Medieval seam ripper. I see your kid coming at you with that. <laughs> you couldn't exactly hit your kid with this, but hey. you could use it on clothing. Oh, I could use it on there. Yeah, you could hit your kid with that. You sure would you never could. hit your kid. We do not want to not in advertise. The head. You kill them, but you kill them because it's the, you pretty hit sharp. Them solid in the back. Now that is beautiful, and we're coming at you live here at Big Spenders. We are live, and our phone lines are open, so call in with your bids, people. Uh, but and, 900, and, I can't imagine you not wanting to pay 900 for something that's so worth it. Imagine all the damage you could do <laughs> with one strike, and then multiple strikes to multiple kids. And, and we have a caller. Caller, you are on Big Spenders. Big Spenders live. What's your bid, caller? Uh, yes, I, I, want to, I want to spend uh, $50 on this, please. Okay, we're going to spend $50. We're asking $900. Shadow, she will accept $50. Well, it's gone. This is gone. First piece gone. $50. Kill all your family. Wow, that's amazing. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching Jonathanville TV, my favorite picks from this week's shows. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next week when all but one of the women in town return from their Russian roulette retreat. 
I can't wait to hear who bit the bullet when we get a new episode of The Death Lady, our local obituaryist. Plus, we're set to debut two new shows, Gertie's Garden Gazin' and Live and Let Fry with Pam Slathers. See y'all then. I love you. Bye. We're approaching our third hour here, and we've been through a lot of yeah. items, but we got a lot more to go, Russell. Let's, uh, let's take a look. What do we got, Russ? All right. What we have here is an 18th century vase, and it is enchanted with the souls of the undead. <laughs> The souls Don't of let the them unscathed. escape. Don't want to let these souls escape. This now. thing's glass Guantanamo. Can't let them out. We'll never, we'll never know what the souls went through, and we'll never ask them any questions because they don't get representation. Now this is amazing.